of a relief for people who blame the Lake O releases for the algae and the red tide we're seeing here. Jillian, what uh, are people telling you about it? Well, well, they tell me that the releases are destroying the natural beauty Southwest Florida has to offer. Take this view, for example, from here, the Clusatchee River looks picture perfect, but up close and in reality, the water looks like this polluted brown and dirty and the water looks just like this in the Gulf where there is red tide. Now take a look at this map. This is a new and enhanced way for you to track red tide. Florida Fish and Wildlife just provided this interactive map to the public. It updates daily on the status of Florida's red tide blooms. When you click on a dot, it shows you details on when the water sample was collected and the amount of red tide concentration and more. This map is offered in addition to the FWC's Wednesday and Friday status updates. And they say this data is more immediate and accurate. Now to check out this map, just head over to our website, fox4now.com. Reporting live in Fort Myers, I'm Jillian Hartman, Fox 4, in your corner. Jillian, thank you. Just into